Hey players, welcome again. This is Rick here with the Game Trade Media. We're at PAX Unplugged, plugging away. And we've got Clay here with Capstone Games. Yeah. Clay, thanks for joining us. Thank we appreciate you, it. Uh, you've come to show us the climbers. Now, yes. before we get into this, I actually got to play this with you yeah. at uh, the Alliance Open House, and he destroyed me. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he's just back to just crush me again on camera this time. So tell us know. about the climbers. Yeah, the climbers is our latest release in our Simply Complex line, which is dedicated to like 3D blocks, having a good table presence like this. The goal is for you to be able to play this game with minimal rules overhead, like five minutes learning, and right. then have a have a good deep strategy game. Um, so that's what this is our first title in that series. Um, but with the climbers, it's pretty straightforward. Um, your goal is to get to the top of this structure that's created organically uh, every time you break this game out. Um, so it's two to five players, and everybody represents a climber. Okay. So I'm gonna I'll take the orange climber. All right. All right. I'm gonna go purple because we're at PAX. Purple so. for PAX. I got it. Yeah. Then everybody gets a. <laughs> it's like the theme here, is the purple. But uh, everybody also gets a long ladder and a short ladder. Um, these are going to be your tools to help you get to the highest point possible. Okay. But okay. once you use a ladder, you're you're done with it. Right? Yeah, that's the thing. Oh. Everybody sees it and they're like, "Oh, this is the coolest ladder. I get to use it a lot." No, yeah. it's a one shot, man. Because that was one of the things when I first played it. I was just like, "Oh, sweet, I can get up here." And you're like, yeah. "Oh, but all oh, but one time, good yeah. sir." And it's like, "Oh, I was like, dang it, out of the game, baby." <laughs> yeah, all the tools that we have, we have three tools, all one time use. All right. So, so yeah. let's play a, a little bit here and show everybody how the climbers work. Yeah. So. But, just real quick, to get to the highest point, you're, on your turn, you can take any block you want, one block that's unoccupied, and throw it down, orient it any way you like, and then put it back down in the structure to help you climb up the, okay. the structure, okay? One thing I do just want to cover is climbing real quick. All right. So I'll get this on the camera here. Oh, I'm going to put it right over it on the side. The, okay. All right, so we have... Let's do the flat with the purple. Oh, that teal's fine. Right purple. here? OK. All right. So if your climber can see over the edge like this, this is a free move. Boom. No issue getting up that high at all. OK. Um, you can only touch the surface that matches your color. Um, there's also a neutral white surface on every single block. And multiple people can be on this block. OK? okay. So you can share that. So to get up to a height like this, obviously you can't see over that. That's where you mentioned the ladders before. That's where they come in. So you can use that to, okay. to kind of climb up to the top. All right. So if you put it up there now, because it is the same length. Yeah. But you now can, it's out. Yeah. But you're up there. So that's the good thing. That's the good thing. You, but you, the bad you, thing you, is. You're climbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, more, cli but no right. more ladders. And then the long ladder is for bigger distances like this. Yeah, that's um, insane. Yeah, so, and then the blocking disc, this is like a mid to late game thing. Um, you can put this on any unoccupied block, prevents anybody from messing with that, occupying it or whatever right. for a full turn. And then once it's your turn again, this is gone from the game. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you do not move up, that's a pass. Once everybody passes in a row, whoever's at the highest level uh, is the winner. Okay. So it's like the, the end game trigger there. Perfect. So. And you cannot take a, uh, a block that has another block on top of it, correct? So if I oh. wanted this block, I can't because this one's on top. Oh, like if you wanted to take something underneath from right. another? Yeah, you okay. cannot do that. Okay. No, there's like minor rules, like no overhangs, none of that crap. The right. whole surface must be in contact. But that's it, though. I mean, it's really a uh, straightforward game, but... Well, let's do it. Yeah, man. I'm, right. I'm down I'll let to... you go first because you are the winner. <laughs> the All right. So how do we... <laughs> So again, on your turn, you can pick any block you want to help you out. So this is kind of a nice move here. So I right. took that one right here. I'm going to come around. Everybody starts on this ground surface. So I'm going to climb up there. And I will use my ladder, man. I don't know if I like it right now, but I'll go ahead and use that to climb up there. And I'm going to also go over to this surface. OK. So, so now it would be my turn. Yes. And I am orange, so I have to find a way to put an orange down for me to move. And or the neutral. Or the neutral. Which I believe I can do this. Yeah. Oh, right. I didn't even see that back there. Oh, what? To, what? You didn't I see it? I forgot to get up. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> All right, so 
I will I want to go read here, you. <laughs> here, and then I will also be a little closer to the next level. I like this. Boom. I like this. Sir? I'm about to block you, son. <laughs> <laughs> Please be perfect. No. Perfect. Is there a... Yes, okay. Here we go. This one. Yeah, this is a good one. Uh, All right, so I'll climb up to this one. Oh, dude, look at this chain. Boom, boom. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hang out there. I like that. Cause I'm looking at it because if you can see right there on the on the camera, you got purple, white, purple. Here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna hang out there. Just gonna hang out there. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> All right. What happens. So, creeps. I am going to go ahead and use your long lat. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm a big fan of. Are you of going to? Oh, that's a jerk move. Do this. <laughs> and, but that oh. did screw me because I can't move because I yeah. didn't put something in a position. In a two-player game, we typically play, and this is a game where it's very flexible. A lot mm. of house rules happen. Sure. Um, where we'll do, because you didn't move up, that would be considered a pass. All I would have to do is move up, and then I would win. But in a two-player game, if you pass twice, okay. that's when we'll say... That's game over. Makes sense. All right. Um, but dude, what the heck is this? It's a beautiful, beautiful what are you, what are you tower. Building. <laughs> All right. I think I'm gonna do something similar too. I like purple. I'm gonna yeah. put. I, I think purple needs to go right oh, there. Oh well, no, because you can't hang it. Oh, that's right. Jeez. I, yeah, I need to like. I gotta get up. <laughs> I gotta stop being lazy. <laughs> All right, so now you would be making your move if, if you wanted to, right? Yeah, I'm not going to go up, though. Yeah. I think I'll move right here. Okay. No, actually, i got to keep this. I got... You have an idea? You have a thought? I did, but not anymore. Mm. It's gone. I'm going to go there. Okay. All right, so I love what you did with the place. Um, <laughs> it's the worst. It's <laughs> so I will move here. And because I can't hear, I will use my ladder. Oh, he's coming up, guys. Right, so he's coming ladder, up. ladder, which shows that I make the range. And I will go one, two, and that's where I will stop. This See, is I don't like this guy right now. Yeah. I just came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, please be purple. Yes. Dang it. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm going full bore on the long ladder. So this clears the height out of the game but I'm up there <sighs> I have no ladders though I'm hurting all right so for me then oh shoot I can this is gonna be off interesting. right there right yes and I do and now that ladder is out so we have blocking discs all right here's a rule where you can be mean. I don't think we really covered it. This, you can push climb, you just can't push them off. Right? I mean, he literally just said can't push them off. But he said nothing about just smacking them. <laughs> I'm gonna put that in the middle between those two. Okay. So that I can climb to the next level. All right. Uh, so boom, there we go. That is the worst. Yes. Because now, I can't push you Unless I put a longer one, but I don't have a ladder to go up any further. No. And there's no other pegs that are bigger than that. You could maybe stack one of these up and then put a block on top. I think one, two, three. No, it's going to be no. the same. So, based on that, I mean, I would try something. I would. Yeah. Oh, there you go. This one here. I would move on there ASAP. And then. And then that's that's pretty much okay. That's pretty much all I can do. I can't move another yeah. block, right? That's right. So, all right. But I, and I'll, so because I did not go up, yeah. that considers a pass. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Are you placing your blocking disc? There's not really a good use for it. I, don't I, I can't think of a good use for it. Okay. So I'll go here and do one of these things. Now I will use my blocking disc. Mm -hmm. Yes, and put it there. So that prevents any use from that, for that block. Right. So as you can see, based yes. on this, 
it can be very difficult for me to go up again and I'll probably pass. I have to pass because I can't go up here. I can't yeah. place anything that's going to be my level to go up because yeah. well, this. Like I was thinking you were going to rotate the block. Or if I did this, that's still too high for me. Yes. So that basically, I'm guessing, is how you play this game. That is. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is this would be the first time I win. I feel like we need a big celebratory moment. No. I've never won this game. Oh, I'm just I got a celebratory <laughs> moment. <laughs> Perfect. Good job. No, this game is awesome, and it yeah. is everything you, it says on the box. It is simply complex. It is. It's it a good, literally good takes to it, man. You, you've got to, you've got to uh, have some really good three-dimensional, um, like the way the blocks play. go yeah. together. I yeah. think um, what a lot of people see is as they play the game, they're like, oh, I didn't see that you can actually use yeah. the blocks to block other people, like what right. you were doing, what we were right. doing in the beginning. That's right. you want to use it to your advantage to climb up, but you can also use it to block people. So. Right. Well, and also yeah. um, when we were at the show at Alliance Open House earlier this year, and you were showing this game, yeah. it was on a Lazy Susan. Yes. Which is really genius, <laughs> and you need to if you don't have one and you have this game, get one because it makes it because then you can turn it around and you, and you get a better look at that three dimensional view yeah. of your entire uh, play like area. Me, I could have used it because I right. wasn't. Because there's really, a lot of stuff going on over here yeah. that we we couldn't see because of yeah. our situation here. Yeah. But, but Great game. Is there anything else coming out of Capstone you want to talk about? Yeah, so um, aside from the Simply Complex line, uh, our bread and butter games are more heavy economic ones. Wildcatters just hit, and that's more, uh, this is about the oil industry, the very beginning of it, so you're drilling for oil across the, the world. Okay. Um, it's very player interactive. Um, you can't turtle in your own part of the map and do your own things. So you've got to interact with other people. Okay. Um, but there's some some stocks involved where you're forcing people to pay you their stocks. Um, so this currency is being traded throughout the game, mm -hmm. but you're also uh, finding oil and shipping it to refineries across the world. Um, depending on the continents that you put it in, um, you're going to score for area majority for each of the seven continents at oh, the wow. end of the game okay. for points. So very interactive, very uh there's some really underlying strategies that can make it very cutthroat, and uh, so that's we're showing that here, and it's it's been a blast. Cool. So. so if you are here at PAX Unplugged and you want to see more about Wildcats, yeah, Wildcats, Wildcats yeah. check out Capstone's booth, and that is 748. 748. Also, check out our booth here at 203 and pick up a free uh, copy of Game Trade Magazine. It has a lot of cool goodies in there. Yes. Um, we'd like to say thank you to Carolina Game Tables for a beautiful game table here, the streamer that we're using this weekend. Uh, we're sad that we have to give it back at the end of the weekend, but you can go on their website and, and Facebook page and find out how you can get one of these for yourself if you like one. And finally, check out our little flyer here at our table. You'll get one of these. This is a entry. It'll tell you how to enter to win an amazing prize pack of games. Uh, and maybe we'll be adding a few more to those uh, that, that beautiful picture of games there as the weekend uh, continues. Maybe like the uh, maybe beautiful... A, Maybe climbers. a climbers. That would be awesome. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you very much. Clay, thank you very much. Congratulations Rick, on winning again. Hi, yeah, uh, well, he I'll says he never it. wins. I'll he beat it. us. <laughs> right. And uh, everybody out there watching, stay tuned. We're going to yes. be right back with some more great content. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to Game Trade Media. Leave a like and comment on what videos you'd like to see next.